Yes, 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 yes. Welcome, 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 everyone. It's another beautiful day, and we're blessed to have one and only, one and only. I don't know if I should say this, but uh, she's a great guest. She has accomplished a lot of things that most people dream to accomplish, and she's still doing more in the ecosystem. And uh, this is Africa Stalking Podcast in collaboration with Impact Masters Podcast, bringing you tech ecosystem in Rwanda. And we are good at covering a tech ecosystem in Africa. And uh, today we have amazing, amazing person. Uh, I just still going through a profile and she has accomplished more than enough. And she's so modest. So in case guys, uh, you feel like uh, she's not telling, uh, telling it all, please feel free to engage us on Twitter space and ask your questions. Uh, and uh, without further ado, uh, I am Michael Kimadi, your host, uh, bringing you live Diana Mambazi. I don't know if I said that right, but nevertheless, welcome, Diana. How are you? I am good, Michael. You're good? Thank you for having me. Yeah? Yeah. Welcome, welcome. So, Thank you. Diana, um, as you tell African tech ecosystem impact masters, uh, people who are movers and shakers, you're one of them, actually. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. And your portfolio speaks it all. Um, and uh, actually, I would like to know who is Diana? Beside, you know, the, the CV, the resume, uh, you know, the product manager, uh, the, the, the serious lady. Uh, she, she works with the engineers and uh, she's an, a vibe, I would say that. Uh, I, had an, I had an opportunity to interact with her while interacting with engineers. And I can tell you, uh, she, she knows, uh, uh, <laughs> I want to use bad language, but <laughs> she knows, uh, 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 you know, a portfolio in terms of working with engineers. Uh, but Dana, maybe you can start where you're born, maybe where you went to school. How was that like growing up? And things that actually uh, someone would listen to and say, maybe I can pick a piece and work with this especially even for the ladies who want to pursue it in tech, uh, who maybe is in a P1 or P2, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Yeah, thank you, Michael. So like you already said, I am Diana Mbabazi. Uh, I was born, raised, started in Uganda. Mm. And 10 years back, I relocated to Rwanda. Yeah. Because this is my, my first home, I would say. Yeah. So... As I returned to Rwanda, I mean, from school, I was doing, com- I mean, I did computer science ah, at school. Which, un- which, which school is that? Nursery? <laughs> okay, at university, I did computer science. I want to I start from ground zero. Are you at <laughs> so you're born in Rwanda, right? <laughs> no, no, I was born and raised in Uganda. In Uganda. Yes. And uh, you went to school there? Yes, I went to school in Uganda. Throughout your all my school school life, yeah, until my bachelor's, I was in Uganda. Ah, nice. So, how how is primary school in Uganda? Actually, I haven't done a podcast with anyone in Uganda, and uh, yeah. one of the things also that we're trying to highlight because if you look at the tech ecosystem uh, across Africa, the school is a key part of that, mm-hmm. and even how people learn mm-hmm. and the curriculum, the school system. Uh, so there are some of the guys uh, I've talked to in Tanzania, even in Rwanda, and one of the things they're pointing out is that we can do better mm-hmm. in the curriculum, in how we disseminate in knowledge. So I would like to understand from your experience, how is schooling in Uganda? So, uh, I mean, looking at the curriculum in Uganda, yeah. I mean, kindergarten is two years, yeah. basically nursery school. Yeah. Then primary school is seven years. Seven basically from years, yeah, yeah. Primary one to primary seven. Yeah. Then primary seven, you do the national exams. Yeah. Which is called PLE, primarily mm. living exams. Yeah. And then second grade is six years, but you have senior one to senior four. Then you do national exams yeah. as well in yeah. senior four. Yeah. That's like end of secondary before you go to high school. Yeah. Then high school where it is senior five and senior six. Yeah. Then you also do the national exams yeah and then university is three years yeah. depending on the course but uh, i think max is three years yeah. the courses like low engineering and the others would go past three years yeah yeah so the curriculum in uganda is quite different from the one in rwanda yeah 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 uh how is it different so is it in terms of years or so in terms of years yeah. 
Because yeah. in Rwanda, it's okay, nursery school is like three years. Okay. Then primary school is six years. Yeah. Then second is three years. Okay. And then high school is three years. Okay. So in terms of numbers of the years, yeah. you're going to add up to the same total. Yeah. But then the way they break it down before it's national year yeah. exams, yeah. it is different. And so also I understand in Rwanda, it's more, there was a French curriculum which was taught in, uh, 2009. it was an option, right? Yeah, you could choose. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think they stopped it at some point completely. Yeah. yeah. And then they moved to the English curriculum. Yeah. Yeah. And I think until now. Yeah. Yeah, but in, in Uganda it has been English all through. Ah, nice, yeah. nice. So do you think uh, maybe people studying in English, you know, learning in English helps in integrating different ecosystems? Uh, <laughs> I think it would help, but not only, so it's not because people study in English, yeah. but I think if people have like a stayed, like they steady, it's, it's how do I say it? It's constant, like the language they've been to. Mm. It would be okay in any language you study in. It's yeah. all about what you bring with the table, what you understand from the teachings and everything. Oh. So uh, the practicality of what you learn. Exactly. Ah, nice. Yeah, because if you see, if you are at a certain level and you've been in French, then you switch to English. Yeah. I mean, it's a challenge. I yeah. would actually understand that students or scholars in Rwanda are very smart students. Okay. Because changing from one language to another, and then you still have to make it. And anyway, go out to the competitive world. Yeah. For example, you're talking to someone who's been in one language system, like I have been in English, then I come to someone who started with French, yeah. and somewhere midway they switch to English. Yeah. You can imagine how challenging it is, but at the end of the day, people still make it. True, true. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, this is very important that you've said it. Um, uh, one thing interacting with different people at different levels across Africa is that I've realized uh, we have the most talented and most smartest people I across the world. For sure. uh, even given the challenges that you have to deal with, and uh, this is where I, I need to ask, like, w for you, you know, you, you look like you're having fun in tech. <laughs> Not like you're working, you're having yeah. fun. Yeah, it's something that you do with passion mm -hmm. and love. And I see so many ladies who struggle with that. Mm -hmm. What's your secret? What's your recipe? Okay, so if I would just draw you back a bit. Yeah. Just after university, like I told you, I did computer science. Yeah. But unfortunately, I didn't touch the code. So oh, okay. I wasn't coding, but uh. I realized that it's not supposed to be the end of the career that I'd already started building. Yeah. I'd said that within the tech world, yeah. there are so many things that are needed. Yeah. And then I realized, I mean, I met the corner that was project management. Yeah. So I would say somewhere in 2012, yeah. project management was really picking. Yeah. And then realized project management is not about only projects that are road construction or anything, mm -hmm. but even take projects needed. So yeah. I went to project manage like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So it felt like that was the time I started building my career, mm. like project management in the IT world. Yeah. And then I would say for sure, as a matter of fact, I had very good advisors, people mm. who like really guided me through. Yeah. Because uh, I tell you, a friend of this mine. This is the high school, primary, or just no, no, across just, the. No, I'm saying after graduation, okay. after graduating in project, I'm um, in computer science. Yeah. Then I didn't, I, you know, in school. Yeah. They don't, it's not practical. Oh, so which which school did you go to? I went to Niger University, mm. Kampala. Okay. Yeah. So in school, it's never practical, especially when it comes to such uh, such courses. Yeah. So they give you the basics. They introduce you to programming languages. They mm. introduce you to IT. Yeah. So I would say for me, that was like an introduction. But the three years in university, mm. it introduced me to the IT, to the technology world. Mm. And then when I started building my career, like started to work, Yeah. I mean, I realize, yes, I can't code, but this does not stop me or kick me out of the technology world. Yeah. Then uh, one of my good, good friends, like uh, I would call him my mentor. Yeah. I would be happy to talk about him here, but yeah, yeah. my mentor yeah. was a project manager. I can give him a shout out, no I mean, worries. <laughs> yeah, Jeff yeah. Duperez. Yeah. Yeah. Duperez. Is he Ugandan or He's Rundis? South African. Oh, South Africa. So I met him at my workplace. Yeah. And then this guy was an engineer, a lecturer engineer. Yeah who is good in project management, finance, and everything. Yeah. And looking at a young girl, I think mm. he's the first person <laughs> who saw how, uh. how, I don't want to say that I'm vibing my own <laughs> self, but I mean, he saw something in me, I would yeah. say it that way. Yeah. And it's like, uh, I think, yes, you're in the right field mm. because we're working in the same company. Mm. And yeah, I had computers. Computer. Which company was this? Uh, this was uh, Ngali Holdings. Actually, mm. by then it was called Digitech. 
Uh, so, this is where you started your career. That's where I, I started in, my back career. Back in 2011 to 2013. Yeah, so uh-huh. that's where I started my career. Mm-hmm. I was in the IT department trying to do IT support, yeah. support people with their, I mean, I would go to your desk. So you know those small, small things that you support people with. Yeah. I can't access my computer, my Outlook, I can, my internet cable. Yeah. I can't Installing uh, exactly. Mozilla, Chrome. Exactly, exactly. Uh, then back then it was more of a Chrome and... Uh, yeah. So and then people <laughs> thought you were really... Explorer. <laughs> You're really smart. Yeah. Just getting a network cable. Yeah. I can access internet. I touch your computer. I, I drag like, the cable in yeah. and out. Yeah. And it's working. You're like, oh my God, this yeah. girl is... What? Like, Magician. Oh yeah. yeah. So th- that friend of mine here said, you know what? Yeah. I think you have the skills. Yeah. You can even become a very good yeah. project manager in IT projects. Yeah. So... Like that, we used to have back and forth discussions. He introduced me to to, to project management. Yeah. I remember for him, he's an engineer, electro engineer, but then me, ah, yeah, was in support. the tech. Yeah. So I then started doing short courses. In okay. Uh, so let me ask: You had graduated with BSc exactly. computing, right? Yes. So uh, how how did you like uh, do your programming projects and all that? So. I mean, at university, uh. I mean, you had to do it. You, because by then it is, you do the research, mm. do the write up, mm. a bit of coding. They just like code a, a calculator. Mm. Mm. I mean, oh, you did the, you know, there is <laughs> what we call community degrees. Did you do that? <laughs> Whereby everyone contributes to a degree. Uh, no, 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 that, that wasn't that. I remember whatever I programmed was in C plus. Oh, was C plus plus. Yeah. Yeah. A calculator, something ah. like that. I mean, it's ten years back. And yeah. yeah. So it wasn't that really hardcore yeah. like it is today yeah uh, and th- there was good samples somewhere yeah yeah <laughs> something you would really edit on and build up yeah so then past that like now starting to build my career so yeah and then i said it is fun actually to be a project yeah. manager yeah. in it projects yeah so like that like that mm. did short courses mm. in, in, in project management yeah and then Luckily enough, mm. as I was in IT support, yeah. I think everyone at Ngal Holdings used to say something in me. Oh, yeah. Then there comes a project called Rand Online. Mm. So the government, mm. so Ngal Holdings is conjunction with the government, actually yeah. through our DB, mm. we wanted to make Rwanda digital. Mm. We want to have a digital government. Yeah. So that was the birth of Rand Online project. Mm. So Ngal Holdings was like... Uh, a group, it's a group company even up to date yeah. with different things they do. So they were in technology, they were in energy, mm. they were in mining, they mm. were in aerospace. So they had different things. Yeah. So as a holdings company, as a project grew up, yeah. picked up, yeah. so a company would be created out of that. Mm-hmm. So somewhere, I think in 2013, we did a visibility study of how visible is it to have a digital African country, yeah. I would say, like digital services in Rwanda. Yeah. So that's, like I said, the birth of Run Online. We did a visibility study mm. to see what it would... This was through Ngali? Yes, through okay. Ngali. Okay. Yeah, before it became... Were you head of this project? So I was the junior project manager. Ah, yes. and, and you are so humble <laughs> <laughs> with humility. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, and this so is like, uh, yeah. how many years ago? Uh, uh, five five years ago? More than that, I think. Yeah, uh, more than that, yeah, right? Because a junior project manager in 2013. Ah, okay. Because yeah, the time we did the visibility study in 2013 yeah. until we gave a report in 2014, I was the junior project manager. And, and because now you are to support, you are changing cables and installing a uh, few Actually, apps here I and there. Actually, I did that like for six months and I was out of the... Yeah. So this, the, you build the confidence from what other people could tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So are you saying, uh, <coughs> because this happens a lot, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, are you saying if a lady is given a compliment mm-hmm. uh, on what she does and how she does it, mm-hmm. she should not take it lightly? Sometimes it's not all about... Um, it's People are not pulling your leg. They yeah. Sometimes they mean it. So you can take it serious and see how you know, you can take it the next level. Yeah, so what I would say, mm. if someone gives you feedback, yeah. positive or negative, take time to think about that feedback. Yeah. Never take it for granted. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, someone seeing you from the other angle is yeah. seeing something different. Yeah. The way you see it. Yeah. You sat at that side and me sitting at the side, you yeah. s- we see things differently. Yeah. But you should always give it a thought. Oh, okay. So if, uh, honestly speaking, yeah. if I didn't listen to that other friend of mine and my other colleagues who really encouraged me to pick it up from there, yeah. I think up to now I would still be in IT support, trying to change your own cables, support yeah. printing and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, mm. amazing stuff. Um, so you, 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 you like, uh, lead this project, uh, which actually is part and parcel of uh, influencing how Rwanda accesses information, mm-hmm. 
uh, how processes are carried out. Mm-hmm. Um, and then even up now, we have uh, up to this point here, there is a, a very good application called, uh, not application, but platform, Irembo, yeah. right? So actually, yeah. so Run Online Project yeah. is the one that gave birth to Irembo as a campaign. Yeah. So the moment the project picked up in Gal Holdings, because mm. the, the business model in Gali was once the project picks up, mm. it, they create a campaign and that moves out. Yeah. So it becomes a subsidiary of the holdings. Ah. Yeah, so when when we passed the visibility study, mm. the government of Rwanda, I mean, we went into a BOT, build operate transfer contract with the government of Rwanda. Yeah. And the focus was you're going to build a certain number of, actually by then it was 100 services in yeah. a period of like three years. Yeah. So in a PP model. Yeah. So that's how I mean, Rwanda Online Company was given birth to, and I mean, a few years later, it changed to Irembo. Irembo. So the famous Irembo platform. Oh so this goodness. is an e-government platform yeah, yeah. that gives access to the citizens and non-citizens of the yeah. of Rwanda yeah. to access government services yeah. at their desk. Yeah, and I assume this was built by an army of engineers, mm-hmm. and uh, were there women in those engineers? Yes, yeah. actually. So uh, we had groups, I mean squads, teams yeah. of people working. Yeah. And most of the squads were led by ladies. Okay. And I'll tell you, as a matter of fact, because as the first project manager on this project, yeah. so everyone who used to join, I yeah. had to train them through so we get we get the project uh, yeah. moving. Because we had limited amount of time from the government so mm. to deliver on certain things. Mm. So. Ladies and okay, shout out to all those ladies I worked with. Yeah. I mean, we did so much. Was it equal number or less ladies, more men? Uh, the really, tr- I mean, the company really tried to balance it. Okay, off. Okay. yeah. I remember even some consultants we were working with, yeah. some of them were ladies. Yeah, so w- please help me with us because if I have a company and I would like to balance that, w- mm. w- what is the sec- should I r- recruit intentionally? Should I look for the skilled? How do I do that? Because again. There's a, a, a thin line of incompetency and balancing, right? So you are taking someone because they are lady, or mm-hmm. you are taking someone because they are capable, and you want, uh, you know, to have equal equality in terms of gender. Okay, so in terms of gender, I, w- I mean equality. Mm. I would advise uh, everyone to like balance it off. Mm. I think that is key. But how do I do? What wha- is that process like? But, but the process is check for. C- Competency. Competency. Yeah, competence is key. Yeah. But also, you want someone who who is happy to do what they're doing. Yeah. You need that aggressiveness. Yeah. You get a new graduate from school. Yeah. So she's a lady. Yeah. Like no, 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 I'm looking for a five years experienced mm. person. Yeah. Always give a chance. Oh yeah, yeah. Always so uh, as much as you're looking for this exper- uh, if experience in terms of years, if you see potential, don't don't be afraid to nurture to that potential. Out. Okay. Yeah. I'll tell you, yeah. I think I believe a good example because mm. even when I joined mm. the campaigns I joined, yeah. I'll say a few years back in Rwanda, speaking in Rwanda was really key because before English really integrated into the system, yeah. even most offices yeah. were speaking in Rwanda. But yeah. then also the services were providing to were government services, mm. government offices. Yeah. Uh, like the administrative levels in Rwanda, it is the province, district, sector, cell. Mm. And village, yeah. So most of the services that were supposed to be given to Rembo mm. supposed to be, I mean, in Kenya, Rwanda, even mm. Rembo is translated in actually in three languages: yeah. Kenya, Rwanda, English, and French. Yeah. So, but then when I joined, yeah, Ali, yeah, I could I couldn't even speak Kenya, Rwanda. Yeah. But then they saw this the, the potential. The potential. So they went beyond and just speak even Kenya, Rwanda. But I really struggled at that yeah. point. Okay. Yeah. At some point, I actually picked <laughs> up going good. I had to learn. I realized I'm like, uh, if I need to get to this. Diana yeah. struggled. <laughs> For sure, I struggled. I wish I would tell you my story with yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you can tell me yeah, your story. Yeah, yeah. But so, the yeah. potential. Yeah. I would actually see, uh, see mm-hmm. the, pe- the potential people used to see in me mm. also pushed me hard to get to deliver. Mm. But then coming back to your question is, do we hire because people, I mean, is it a girl? Is yeah. it a man? Yeah. A woman, or yeah, but yeah. always find that I mean, check out that potential in those people, yeah, and help them to build to that potential. Yeah, trust me, you will get the best out of them. Yeah, so now, actually, as years go on, as my experience grew and everything, yeah. when I talk to someone, I can always tell that 
if someone pushes on this person if someone gives a hand mm. to this lady yeah. i can see another dana in the future because i'm not gonna be here forever true, true. i mean the young girls are coming true, true. so if i meet those young girls i'm like ah, mm. i can see even a better dana yeah i always don't even say i see a dana i'm like this a better dana true true yes yeah, so because also people are becoming smart as we as we I mean, grow right yeah, yeah the world is changing so yeah, fast technology yeah. is evolving so fast yeah. everything is changing so if I used to manage projects like this. I don't th- it's not the same way things are being done today. Yes. Things have evolved uh, a lot over time. Yeah, yeah. true true. Mm-hmm. Uh and uh you 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 really did impressive job uh I mean with the project management for the Rwanda online mm-hmm. to an extent you became the senior project manager, yeah. right? Yeah. How was that? Are you, uh, how, how, how much uh, how many team members were you managing at that point? Uh so um I think actually to to say it back a bit run online was like my growth career yeah i think it used to get like a promotion every two three years like oh okay i thought so it's two <laughs> three weeks no no, like, no no okay, no yeah so yeah. you'd see you every year yeah, you could at least i would be until i go to the senior product manager yeah so the teams mm. but we were working in an agile environment yes i think you remember was one of the companies that picked up agile the moment it was up to the market yeah the London market yeah and then we were working in squads mm-hmm. So we were working for the government of Rwanda for different government institutions. Yeah. So there's education, there's health, yeah. there's um agritech. Agritech, there's um local government. Mm. So we had different squads that yeah. are led by different product managers. Yeah. yeah. So you're a product so in an agile team, I don't know if you know how scrum teams work. Yeah. So there's a product manager, there's a business analyst, there are devs, mm. there's you know. Mm. So so you're the product manager, mm. you have like you have an analyst, mm. you have devs. Mm. So you have like around seven, eight people. Yeah, team so leads. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so product owner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no, when you're the product owner, like product yeah. manager, yeah. you you now like you take, take care of those. Of yeah, those because people. I thought maybe <laughs> ideally. So like the devs have yeah. a tech lead. Yeah. Someone who really leads on the tech side. Yes. Because you don't go in too much into tech work. Yeah. But at least you work with the tech lead yeah. to align on the Work business that. side and there. exactly because for you you're representing the business and the customer yeah because as with the business analyst i talk to the customers i okay. understand their requirements yeah. i can write it down explain it mm. i mean document it and give it to the developers so yeah so they can break it down into features yeah. i think that's really helps in case someone wants to become a project manager uh what what do they need to do because also i see you have a couple of certifications do they help to give you the context in terms of uh you know how you work uh, and what is expected of you yeah so uh, like i told you my first introduction to project management was actually a certificate mm. and this was a one week training mm. that actually i did in south africa it was one week training one week you, yeah. Yeah. you go for like a quick training then you go for two months to do some assignments and that was like my first introduction mm-hmm. so i'll say certif- that certificate helped me a lot because int- it introduced me to project management yeah. at large scale and then i, I dived in ah, okay. i think a year later that's when i did my masters in project management. Ah, yeah so you saw there's a great potential in this and you yes, decided to do a master's yes yes yeah. and i keep telling myself when i was doing the masters is like whatever i learned in one week is very much better than whatever i'm learning Yes, like that's what I wanted to ask you. Are, are there universities that offer masters in pro- project management? Yes, yes. Actually, I did my masters with Jomo Kenyatta University. Uh, the JQWAT? Yeah, JQWAT. Uh, the same it was in Rwanda. Why? why, why? <laughs> <laughs> did they close? Yeah, they're no longer in Rwanda. Oh, that was yeah, important. I think yeah. they had to be called back to Kenya. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the best universities yes. in, uh, in Nairobi. Uh, why do you call it uh, Jomo Kenyatta University instead of... Uh, you know, there's Kenyatta University. Yeah. So Jomo Kenyatta University doesn't exist. <laughs> Are you sure? So you have Jomo Kenyatta University uh. Uh, of Agriculture and Technology. And that's what the one that you're talking about. Yes, it's yes. called Jomo Kenyatta University, University of Agriculture, Agriculture and, and Technology. Technology. Yes. yes. So it's different from? Jomo Kenyatta University. Oh, really? Oh, well, you can say that in short form, but... Uh, uh, okay. I didn't know. Oh. I, did I used to say Jekwat actually. Yes, Jekwat actually exists, and yeah, that's what yeah. most even um, you know uh, alumni call it. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I saw that and was like, you must be talking about Jekwat, oh, uh, which is so uh, yeah. Anyway, no worries. Yeah. Uh, so, what was the experience? Did the the lecturers travel all the way, here or the local lecturers teaching some so of those courses? So when actually it started, that was when. Okay, I'm not, not sure about the years. Yeah. It was the best. Uh, universities offering masters. Yeah, 
uh, so, and then how did I get there? Mm. My housemate by then, mm. she was doing her masters there. Mm. And then every weekend she would leave me in bed sleeping. Oh. And then I'm like, she even didn't tell me join me. But Your then husband, then, right? No, my housemate. My works, uh, I was manager. Housemate. Oh. I mean, before I got married. Oh. <laughs> Way back when I was okay. still young. Yeah. So she would leave me in the room. Then yeah. she goes to do her master. Yeah. Like to, to attend her classes in the weekend. Yeah. Actually, to do my master's, mm. I just picked it from her. Mm. It's like, if she can do it. Mm. Then why not? So, uh, yeah. yeah. It's like, why do I spend weekends in bed sleeping, true, watching true. movies and things like that? Yeah. So that's how I end up. So are you saying master's. another lady can in, can actually motivate you to do more? So much. Yeah. So that yeah. lady, actually, yeah. she has to Ruth. Yeah. She motivated me so much to mm. get my master's done. Because, yeah. yeah, at that moment, mm. I was already picking in project management. Yeah. I'd done the certificates. I think by then I'd done, like, two certificates. Yeah. And then... Like, but adding uh, a master's on my CV, mm. something that is not bad. Yeah, yeah. And then it was it was affordable. I, I was like, if my friend can pay for it, I can pay for it myself. And if she can do it, I can actually do it. Yeah. So she pushed me to do it. Yes. And then likely enough, the ladies I met after that, I, th- I also actually, I got other ladies to... To join the masters, yes, to yeah. join the masters. Nice. Like, how did you do? It? I'm like, yeah. yeah. Every weekend, Saturday, Sunday, I would go for these classes. Yeah. And actually, they're like, me, I can do after work. Yeah. 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 Classes. So it's true what they say about uh, most of the decisions are made in those, uh, you know, ladies out, yeah. uh, merry go round, exactly. where you share your experience because ladies, are, of course, they are a bit talkative. Yeah. And then <laughs> you ask questions, and then they. <laughs> Don't say talk at you. Okay. Ladies share great ideas. Ah, okay. And a great idea from a fair lady yeah, will push bad. you to do something better. I, I digress. So oh, please. ladies <laughs> share good ideas. Yes. <laughs> and so then when ladies encourage each, each other, other yeah. to do to, better. To do more, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I mean that's that's interesting. So if you're listening here, it's not too late. You can do your masters. You can mm-hmm. take your certification. Mm-hmm. You can grow your career. You can pursue any kind of course that you want. And actually, Diana is reachable. So if you want like more details in terms of what needs to be done, mm-hmm. she's here. But first, first forward. Now you join Bank of Kigali as Scrum Master. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> so in the agile methodology way of working mm. is so basically there are Scrum teams. Yeah. So and. Do you know anything about Agile? Yes, I know everything uh, about Agile. You know everything about Agile. Yes, yes. So there's a difference between Agile and Waterfall. Yes. So when Agile came, mm. it came with very many good features. Now let me break this learning. down so that people don't uh, yeah. get the context. So Waterfall yeah. is whereby the boss or the executive uh, says, this is the strategy for the year or for 10 years, and uh, they give like a circular or memo mm. or a strategy around that. And then that falls down the stream and up to the last person, up to the receptionist, yeah. and they follow that. But don't with the Agile... Don't touch anything. Yes, don't touch. And, and actually, there's a the way robots. you do systematically. Mm-hmm. So uh, they come up with these ideas, they give it a budget, and then you, you all implement that. Whatever amount of time that you need to spend, mm-hmm. that's what happens. But with Agile, they realize that this actually takes a lot of time and doesn't involve customers. Uh, and realize if we could do this iteratively where we are getting feedback from the customer and reiterate, you know, in the building, in the strategy, exactly. uh, in how we engage our customer, mm-hmm. then we'll have even better product. And now that's where things like Scrum, things like uh, extreme programming, things like, um, uh, I don't know if I can remember all of them, but there are like 12 uh, agile methodologies exactly. that you can follow to do, but okay. Scrum is the most popular. Uh, amongst engineers because yeah. it, it it vouches for a sprint which is which can be between uh one week to four weeks yeah. and it encourages people to work in a team of not more than five mm-hmm. and now we have now scrum masters team leads we have uh, uh, the other team members who are building we have now product managers mm-hmm. and in this case uh this team work like independently and then they come together when they, are, they need be, like in rugby, because Scrum came from rugby, actually. Yeah, really? So when need be, they come together, and then they rally around what needs to be done and mm-hmm. get done. But after that, they can now retreat and do uh, what needs to be done. And also they ride on each other's strength. Basically a cross-functional team. Yeah, exactly. So another thing that you need to note about this is what they call stand-up. So every day there will be like five minutes stand-up, five to 15 minutes stand-up, yeah. where each team member says, I worked on this yesterday, 
I'm going to work on this I'm today. I'm going to work on this today. I had these challenges yesterday mm-hmm. and uh, maybe I need help Someone. here and there. And then yeah. people uh, feel more supported and mm-hmm. more encouraged in terms of how they work. Actually, Michael, you've surprised me. <laughs> Why? You, you're really good at this. Mm. You put it so mm. straight. Uh, like you differentiated so well. That's bread and butter. Manager. I mean, mm. how? Are you a project manager, product mm. owner somewhere? Mm. That I I'm don't a know. qualified computer scientist. <laughs> now, can we turn <laughs> this question now? You okay. ask me more questions. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. No, I'll tell my story. Don't worry about <laughs> it. You will listen to it at some point. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's actually nice. Yeah. So, I mean, you've made it clear to our listeners. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, now you become Scrum Master. Yeah, so now when I moved to Bank of Kigali, mm. so imagine moving from a digital platform. I just a moment. Uh, so you didn't like do a certification or anything, it's just you, re- you wrote on your experiences I did when some you did. Okay. No, because there's a Scrum Master, I think. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I did uh, an agile course ah, on okay. Coursera. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, nice. Yeah. You did that on Coursera. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, now, this is where I need to encourage yeah, ladies. Yeah. Ladies, you're not too old for Coursera, Code yeah. Academy, Prosite. Exactly. All these things exist on your laptop as long as you have internet. Yeah. And some of them, of course, charge a few dollars. And yeah, it's worth it. I think it. the cost was like $20, 30 dollars. 20 30 dollars. Say 20, 20 yeah. cent. Yeah. yeah. So don't sit there and start, you know, and, and, and say, you know, I can't go back to old. How long did that take, take you? I mean, that course was one month. There you like go. Was, uh, there you go. A whole. So you'd study yeah. one week. Friday yeah. you do a quiz. You yeah. pass. You're done with the first session. First, yeah, you second week the, like that. And yeah. Week, yeah. And, and you get your certificate, which is recognized across, across the world. Yeah. Please go ahead. Yeah. So uh, actually, talking about those certifications, but yeah, moving uh, moving to Bank of Kigali. Yeah. So this is now me moving to a new sector. Yeah. I'm now moving to the banking sector yeah. from an eGov platform. Yeah. So. But at least I had already the the understanding of the digital world. Yeah. And then moving to the banking sector, the bank was also starting to get digital. Yeah. So fintech, the yeah. banks now start they want us to, to go digital. Yeah. So moving to Bank of Kigali, yeah. they had a new department called uh, Digital Factory. Yeah. And then yeah, they had Scrum. Mm. They were like, they actually started the Digital Factory to build products mm. in house. Yeah. In an agile way of working, yeah, and they, and they still do. Yeah, they still do. Because I mean most of the engineers I've talked to here, I- even uh, from the community point of view, mm. uh, most of them actually uh, point out their two best places to work. Uh-huh. One is the Irembo, Irembo. which you used to work <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, uh, run online. Yeah. And, and then, then there's Bank, Bank of Kigali. Kigali yeah. If you if you are able to work there, yeah. then you are legit. Exactly. It's like uh, <laughs> Google or Microsoft yes. of Rwanda. Yeah, yeah. And now there are more companies actually opening. Uh, yeah, so there are actually more companies that are, uh, are open to start digital factories, yeah. to start, I mean, yeah. the agile way of yeah. working. Because yeah. it's, it's proven that it is one of the most effective way of mm. working. So joining Bank of Kigali, they were just starting. Mm. They were starting like from scratch. Yeah. And then, uh, like I told you, because Zirim was one of the pioneers to start the agile way of working and then the IT and everything. Yeah. I mean, developers. Yeah. So joining Bank of Kigali was an interesting, it was that interesting time when we joined. Yeah. So they had a digital factory, mm. uh, digital factory, and they were trying to build their teams, digitize their everything. Yeah, digitize yeah. everything, yeah. and then create squads that were in charge of everything. Amazing stuff! Yeah. Amazing stuff! So when I joined, I joined as a scrum master. Yeah, and let me ask a controversial question now mm-hmm. that we have gotten to this point. At this point, are you married? Yeah, I got married when I was in Irembo. Ah, yeah. how were you able to balance both? So <laughs> actually, this is interesting. Mm. So in 2015, when you remember, was putting their first services online, mm. I was also getting married. So mm. well, we all went online almost at the same time. We put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah so yeah. I got married while well, uh, in Irembo. Yeah, and uh, Alice speaking, yeah. it was a bit tight to yeah. balance. Both, yeah, because some uh, marriage yeah. is demanding. Yeah, where you're figuring out how to program the yeah. marriage. Mm-hmm. So yeah. as a young girl, I used to look out those ladies who were like we're struggling to balance off work, then family, then yeah. kids, yeah. then deliver. Yeah. I mean, you know, when you get married, yeah. of course you're gonna be like, when I get pregnant, I'm not get that promis- mm. promotion. I was eyeing, mm. I'm not gonna get that and that. So, yeah. so I used but to is see that. that. True? I mean. That's not true. Because if you deliver, you deliver, Yeah, right? if you deliver, you deliver. Yeah. That's right, actually. Yeah. So yeah. me, I used to work and push myself to the odds. Like mm. I'm mm. going to be married. Yeah. I'm going to take care of my family. Yeah. I'm still going to work and deliver as I'm supposed to deliver. Yeah. Because 
what pushes you to go to work every other day? Mm. I mean, I always tell people, can you can you like what you do? Yeah. Do you love what you do? do you, exactly. Yeah. Do you love what you do? Yeah. Even I, I keep telling employers like, yeah. please get your empl- don't get your employees to the point where they don't like what they do. Yeah. They should be in position like I mean, even if I have a sick kid at home, mm. taking care of my kid, taking yeah. him to the hospital, if the baby's not very ill, yeah, because I love what to do, what I do. Yes. I had I had a deadline to hit. Yeah, I can leave my kid for like two hours at home and run to work, and yeah. because I love what I do. True, true. Okay, th- that yeah. that's me. That's the kind. Yeah, like I am. So even the people I used to work with, like. Is don't work because you want to get paid yes. to, to go to leave because you won't yeah. get enough money exactly you will never get the enough yeah. money and then the projects that have been working on the they all been impactful yeah. to people yeah. like when we worked on the rebel I mean coming back to that mm. we changed the lives of Rwandans yes we changed the lives of people who used we to look go up to, to you guys to yes. a sector office yeah. to line up for a birth certificate yeah. why would you go spend three hours waiting for a birth certificate that costs five hundred francs true see you like but now people sit on their computer, apply for that certificate. Yeah. So everything that I've been working on mm. affects people's lives. Yeah, yeah. So it puts a difference. Yeah. That makes me like what I do. Yes, yes. So when I move to the bank, I'm like, okay, mm. I've been lining up to go collect uh, money. Yeah. And then you're lining up for three hours to collect 20,000 francs. True, true. Why don't you just sit on your phone yeah. and send... Get your money moved to other things. Exactly. Be more productive. So th- th- that's aggressiveness that mm. I have in me, actually. Mm. I think some people sometimes, those I work with hate my aggressiveness. Yeah. I keep telling people that, yeah, I know you hate <laughs> <laughs> my aggressiveness. But yeah. if, I, if I don't have that, I don't have anything. True, true. I don't know why I come to work. Yeah. If I don't want to get the project out there to the yeah. users, why do I even come to work? For sure. Let me stay home. Let me call in sick. Let me be taking money. Yeah. And yeah. Like yeah. So if anyone beat a woman, beat a man. But yeah. yeah, ladies, the thing is, I would trust a project with a lady more than I would trust it with oh a yeah? man. Yeah. It boils down to that. <laughs> why, why do you say so? D- because, okay, it's not because I'm a lady, but I've seen ladies, mm. I've seen myself yeah. get things done. Yeah. Because like if a lady is capable of doing something, mm. they really do it they well. Do it. Yeah. They, they'll put them I think that's it. right. Yeah. 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 So you have a man, mm. knows, okay, comparing, say, someone knows what they have to do, mm. they have to get it done, but still they don't get it done. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so, I mean, uh, that makes a lot of sense uh, because uh, I've seen even lady engineers mm-hmm. who really do proper code and they yeah. do it right. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, but. Um, Nevertheless, uh, so that was your part. But now, this is the part now that is, I think, is uh, also <laughs> a bit contro- controversial. So, d- d- how long did you date before you got married? <laughs> and no, uh, given okay. given that, <laughs> given that, um, yeah. I hear you. S- since you joined the wa- you know, the working world, yeah. you are really passionate about what you do, right? Yeah, yeah. And this is a stage where you're like looking for the right person. Mm-hmm. Uh, you want to know how is dating, how is mm. love. And by the way, I'm asking this for the sake of the guys who are there right now. <laughs> and they want to, they feel like, you know, maybe dating is too much yeah. and working is taking all the time. Mm. And and this is actually something that is going on, especially in Kenya. I, I don't know how the Rwanda ecosystem is, mm-hmm. but in Kenya, ladies are like, uh, if I get married or if I'm dating, uh, it's going to take most of my time. I'll not be able to deliver. So, what what you know hacks could you share in that that actually helped you like manage <laughs> and also filter maybe the noise and be able to say this is worth maybe going for a dinner or this <laughs> maybe can't wait or maybe did you make mistakes? So I don't think I'm one of a kind. Mm. That I did something that is impossible. Ex- extraordinary. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. That's not true. Mm. But also uh, on another note, mm. dating, going for dinner outing and things like that yeah. don't stop you from working. Yeah. I mean, the saying is do the right thing at the right time. True, true. Yeah. So, so do you need to plan? So actually I love planning ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Everything yeah. you do is like I'm doing this, if I'm done with this and, yeah. and that's why I have to keep every tip of what I do. Yeah. So uh, you need to plan for sure. Yeah. Like today, I mean it's Monday between Monday and Thursday. Between man and Friday, it is yeah. basically working hours. Then yeah. go back home, and then the kids and and, yeah. and okay, dating and things like that. Yeah. Then, if it's Monday to Friday, I mm. get my things done. Okay. Make sure you you use your you use the time that is dedicated to do something mm. 
and, and get it done. Uh, and do it really well. Yeah, and do it really so. Yeah. That's why I say I am aggressive. I am pushy. I, I be like, if we said we to deliver on this, let's get yes. this that so that it doesn't interfere with the next plan, yeah. the next thing on the line. Yeah. So yeah, um, um, my dating life. I mean, that's a long story. But mm. yeah, I had my someone. I have someone all the time. In the corner. I had. <laughs> 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 I had my my someone in the corner. Yeah. So, who never really interfered with my work. Ah. It was his time and yeah. the wife's time to work. Yeah. And at least he respected that. Yeah. So you also need a supportive partner. Is he the one you ended up with? He's the one I ended up so with. So, wait a minute. Uh, no, we're not going into yeah, this. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been at Broken? Oh my God. Is that part of the question? Yes, yes, yes. No. Yes. Mm. No, I've, I've heartbroken myself. You have heartbroken yourself. Myself, yes. So there's no something you needed to do and you never did it. Yes, and I ended up heartbreaking me. So uh, how did you end up? I know it did sounds... Did you get counseling? Yeah. Did you talk to uh, friends? <laughs> I, uh, what did I do when I, I had to walk away from that? Oh, yeah? Yeah. So oh. because, I, first of all, I took the first step to heartbreak myself. Oh. House has taken what does that mean? How can you break exactly. yourself? This is the first time. <laughs> it's the first time I'm hearing this. So you see, you, you see bread. Uh. You're hung- okay, you see a bag of pizza. Yeah. You want to eat it. Yeah. You're hungry. Your body wants it. Yeah. But you're like, no. I'm not eating. I'm this not though. eating it. Yeah. So you end up killing yourself with hunger. Uh. Right. That's what I did. I Something see what you did yes, there. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So that is what it means. Yeah. To if you don't so. get it, forget about it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, so that's what that's how you manage most of the of the you know uh, I'll say teenager yeah. life. So you know. how do I manage my, myself most of the time? Yeah. I'm either at zero or at a hundred. Surprisingly, ah. I was talking about the same thing with my friends yesterday. Mm. I'm not at. Fi- I don't have fifty percent in me. So I don't have half. You can't be. In this, uh, yeah. you can either be cold or hot yeah. at the same time. No, no, no. I'm either or. Yeah. So either to hundred. Yeah. Or zero. Yeah. But nowhere in the middle. Uh, and that's how I also see. If you give me work to do, mm. I'm going to do it with my best. Yeah. If you are at home as a mom, as a wife, yeah. you are mama. mama. Yes, exactly. Uh, so give a hundred. Ah, yeah, so I give a hundred to everything you do. Yeah. At work, I give a hundred. Yeah. At home, I give a hundred. Because I said, this is time for this. So yeah. Also, people say that once you get kids, they're going to disorganize you. Your career is going to do down. Mm. I'll be honest with you. My mm. kids never, my marriage never interfered with my career. Yeah. Everything still went as planned. Yeah. Because guess what I did? It's like, they, I got kids. Mm. Kids came for me with a life. Mm. I didn't stop going out because I have kids. Yeah. Like time for kids is time for kids. I like that. Please. So the kid met you, you know, <laughs> yeah. not, not the other way around. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. They, they should not t- t- disorganize or take yeah. away what's their But me. that's very some. That's so very important thing to we note. We need to leave. Yeah. We need to survive with what we found. True, true. So they found me here. Mm. And I need. To, I do. M- I think I love my kids. Yeah. I love my boys. Yeah. They are the best thing that you I have. You only have boys? Yeah, I have two boys. How is it bringing up boys? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fun. Uh, huh? It's fun. It's, it's kind of crazy ride. Is that why you get 100? Because <laughs> they can... <laughs> they I know boys are... I, yeah. I, I agree with boys. Only. Yeah, they can be crazy. I, I think I've seen it with my friends. Some yeah. friends have girls. And ah. I that when they meet their girls, are so calm. Uh. Like, are these kids okay? Uh. Why are they not... Is there something drama? wrong? You know, they are Did girls. you stress them? Like, they are girls. <laughs> they don't have girls to it. I'm like, mm. Yeah. We are used to a life, which yeah. is yeah. like when we're going to work. Yeah, I w- I'm dropping them to school. Yeah. They tell me so many stories. Yeah, and the kids when I'm with them and they kind of, are you guys okay? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, crazy, yeah, some bumpy ride. True, that true, is interesting. true. Interesting. Yeah, very yeah. interesting uh, aspect there. Yeah. Fast forward, and uh, you you move from uh, Bank of Kigali mm-hmm. and now <laughs> presently. <laughs> As we are right it's now. From Bank of Kigali. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh there's I something you want to share, b- maybe, about Bank. Um, Did you have a... No, at least with the back and forth questions, we're going to... Yeah, to cover it. Yeah. Okay. So, what's up? Five <laughs> minutes, is that okay? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. so, uh, we are good, we are good. Yeah, Don't worry okay. about it. You yeah. need to take a break? Okay. Yeah, you're yeah. good. You're good. So I would take a break if possible. No, it's not. <laughs> some coffee. Oh, you need some more coffee? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can get some more coffee. Yeah. yeah. Get the lady some more coffee, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> ah, Diana. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um so um have you 
had this bad day in, at work like a challenge that you felt like oh my god i wish yeah 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 i have i've had bad days yeah. i don't know how the bad day i've had bad, bad days, days at work yeah i've had challenging days yeah Yeah, just like any And I how mean, how no, do you go about it? It's no smooth revolt because mm. uh sometimes things are not going to go as planned. Mm. I know I know life. sometimes you're planning to launch a product. Exactly. And uh, you are uh, it maybe the deadline is here but things are not engineering that's how it that exactly. it works, right? Things are not working and yeah, nothing so you can do about it. Doesn't matter engineers. if you're a project manager <laughs> or whatever. This product we're not launching it today. Yeah. And I know as a product manager you work with timelines. Exactly. So how do you deal with that? So um part of my DNA there's mm. no patience. Mm. As ugly as it would sound mm. and it's it's my part of my DNA. Yeah. So I don't have patience. Yeah. And then I working with developers I yeah. think you have to be patient. Yeah. But then not being patient but I still work with developers yeah. to get things done. Yeah. So uh, that challenges me a lot. Yeah. And then Like I told you, you don't have the patience. Mm. You already have a timeline. Yeah. You already promised. Yeah. Because remember, as you work with developers, yeah. you're talking to customers, yeah. you're talking to management, yeah, you're yes. telling them like, yeah, yeah, I'll give you the service working yeah. on this day. Yeah. And then you're like, and it doesn't go, it doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. So that already creates a bad day for you or yeah. already yeah. a bad week. Yeah. But what do you do? you have to then also practice what yeah. you don't have then yeah. practice patience i yeah. don't have yeah. so at least what i do to i talk to my guys talk yeah. to the developers yeah give me i mean a realistic uh, give me realistic timelines yeah. they don't want to do that like there's no realistic timelines but at least prove to me beyond reasonable doubt mm. where you can't have this yeah, this yeah. day yeah then they're going to walk me through it yeah. talk to me tell me because we don't have this yeah. we're not going to get to here yeah But then I'm like help me. Mm. So I'm now sitting with them. I always have this team a team thing. I'm like yeah. let's talk as a team. Yeah. If you are in my shoes, yeah. what are you going to say? Yeah. What do you tell the customers? Mm. What do you tell your management? Yeah. Then now we combine ideas. Ah. Yeah. So working with the team, teamwork mm. is very important. What have you learned from developers over so time? <laughs> being patient with them because I understand <laughs> with yeah. you are impatient yeah. and how you know software engineering yeah. works. Or even engineering in general. So over time, I've you learn something. Yeah. So one thing I've learned from those dudes, mm. they uh, you have to learn to be patient with them. Yeah. You have to step in their shoes. Yeah. Even when you don't touch the code. Yeah. So show them that you understand what they're talking about. Mm. So basically, put don't I mean put that bridge that I know you're here. Yeah. Then I'm like I'm here. I'm yeah. gonna give you the support. Yeah. You're gonna sit here. I'll yeah. order you some coffee in mm. until we pass this line. Yeah. So they're going to be honest with you, you're going to be honest with them. With yeah. Them. You're yeah. going to team up, you're going to work as a team yeah. to get things done. Mm. That's the thing that I've learned. So with developers, it is teamwork. Mm. Is work with them, show show them that you're on their side and yeah. then uh, actually Is it show them or just not, be no, on their side? Thank you. Yeah. It's not show them. Yeah. Be on their side. Mm. Walk through with them mm. as they struggle to get things working, mm. as they struggle with a bug, as they struggle with an issue. Yeah. Be with them. Yeah. So I understand because you'll understand more exactly. you you yeah. know why things are not working exactly. and, and you not come from that point of like you know I'm the product manager here yeah, so I want, yeah. I want things done uh and they don't understand that language So one thing I never developed is that uh, they used to like a head about me mm. when we in the team I'm with them yeah but they're like you don't actually show it you only pushing us to get things done True true yeah, yeah. but then when you go out there mm. we're your best Ah. When you're presenting, what do we do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so you present them in good light, yeah, but when you're here, you're like, I want things yeah, done. You're like, yeah, you're like, but why do you be like that? I'm like, mm. I want to be sure you're not lying to me anything. Mm. So also, because it was feedback from my former colleague, I had to learn it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> no, 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 I, I don't have to have two sides. Yeah. I'll show you I'm with you, even mm. when I go out there, mm. I'm still with you. Mm. Because it doesn't make sense if you have like, say sprint review, you're presenting something. Yeah. And then one of your team members, because mm. you know the product owner you're presenting yeah. or one of the developers presenting and the team is asking him questions yes like you have to clean out this in your house yeah, you yeah. have to bring Bef- it out oh, easy. I so see. team yeah. is really important i saw so many projects mm. working with different squads i saw so many squads struggling mm. with that kind of thing yeah and like the product owner product manager doesn't have a relationship with the team lead yeah. like the tech lead yeah and the devs how yeah. do these people get 
you guys have to lift up a big yeah. bag. Yeah. If you don't work together, yeah. because it is a cross-functional team, yeah. because you get one corner, I get this corner, I get yeah. that. So if you, some... Mm, that's agile, you, yeah. Yeah, one of you doesn't lift the corner, yeah. you'll never have it uh, moving. You'll never get things done, yeah. Exactly, so teamwork, yeah. working with those guys as a team, mm. and then encouraging them every other time. Yeah. How do you encourage them? Do you like... So encouraging your team is like... Uh, you know, guys, we're working on this project. Yeah. Do you know the impact we're going to make to a oh, thousand people yeah. there? Mm. Just encouraged. Yeah. They know that they don't work because they need to work. Yeah. They're working because they're going to help 1,000 people yeah. to get this yeah. thing. Yeah. Have you ever lied to, to engineers or developers? Um, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> I have... Um, let me see. That's a good question. Yeah. I have... Um, what have I lied to them? About timelines? Mm. And from the meeting with the management, then mm. it is done within one week. But that was not true. Yeah, that yeah, was you just had wanted to when manage. Had two weeks. Ah, when so that you know, if it's not done by one week, week I think yeah, I, I'm no, safe with that. Because week. with developers, always yeah. you have to put that buffer. Mm. <laughs> 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 okay. And when they realize you lied, and then they would never realize that you lied. So they would be like, because when they deliver mm. a week earlier, you're mm. like. It's like, Dan, I told us it's going to take us two weeks. I'm like, we managed to do it. Uh, like, oh. Ah, yeah. You lies. see what you did there. Yes. But next time, so tell us the truth. <laughs> yeah, but I don't call that lying because I love honesty. Okay. Yeah. So just managing mind, expectations. Just, yeah, managing mm. expectations. And, yeah. and working with people and, yeah. Yeah. So encouraging the team. Yeah. I mean, take out, take them out for team drinks. Yeah. Guys, let's go just drink this off. Yeah. Let's have coffee and this. Let's... So yeah. And that other. Now Diana, how did you get to B Box? How did I get to B Box? Yeah. <laughs> because it sounded like uh, uh, you know working at Irembo was fun. Also working yeah, at Bank of Kigali was, was even fun. more fun. Yeah, actually, yeah, <laughs> but the bank is my friend. And it looks like you're having a good time <laughs> around actually, here. Yeah, I've been here for a year. Yeah. Oh, a year. Yeah, I've okay. been here for a year. Yeah. Exactly on first October, I met at oh, B Box. Okay. Yeah. So how did I get to B Box? Mm. So well at the bank, mm. someone from B Box approached me. Oh. I didn't look for B-Box. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, that's oh, an interesting oh. part. Uh, uh, so do <laughs> you <laughs> say? <Yeah. laughs> so honestly speaking, so uh, from B-Box approached me mm. and then started talking to me. Yeah. I had not planned to leave the bank, to yeah. be honest with you. Yeah. For remember, I'd planned to leave for sure. Yeah. I wanted a new experience and all that. Yeah. I mean, being in some place for five years plus. True, true, yeah, of course. I'm sure if you stay for five years, please, you're not adding more value. Yeah, <laughs> in Africa, they say you know where the rats hide. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so... Yeah. Uh, the bank had just been there for three years mm. and I was still enjoying the ride. Mm. And then someone from B-Box approached me. But at th that point, yeah. I'd started getting bored. Mm. Why? At the bank. I don't know. But uh, for some reasons, things started, okay, career wise, mm. things started getting bored. I was not mm. challenged. You feel like you're stagnated. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I was not challenged enough. Mm. Everything was okay. Mm. It was not challenged enough. Yeah. And then when the opportunity knocked on my door, you're like, ah. I jokingly, I'll tell you, this is an yeah. interesting story. Yeah. I jokingly did the interview in the most. So you were like, you know, I have a job. <laughs> exactly. So like, let me just do it. Let me just listen to these people. Then my f brother used to be like, what's your problem? Yeah. Nothing you have to do with B-Box. Did you know B-Box before you joined B-Box? I did. A bit, yeah, you yeah, know, B-Box box exists, yeah. but you didn't yeah, know what yeah, they really yeah, do. Yeah, I didn't know the much about them okay. for sure. Yeah. So when they approached me and then we're doing interviews, mm. honestly speaking, yeah, most of the interviews though online. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's during uh, the COVID. The eh? COVID time. Ah. That was uh, the beginning of last uh, year, yeah. 2021, yeah. and we were working from home. Yes. So they would call like how will, how will this even work? <laughs> I remember one time they called me as on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Like Around Kigali? No, I traveled. Okay. And then they called me and I'm on holiday and uh, I didn't want to turn on my video. Ah. <laughs> like, Please turn it on. So like, give me five minutes. I need to set up something. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I took the whole interview process oh. as a joke. Yeah. But then I liked the interview process because mm. it was mm. challenging. Yeah. The interview. I mean, the challenges they would, they would give you to work on yeah. was a good challenge. They'd yeah. tell you go work on a presentation, mm. come and present it. Yeah. So when it was a presentation, that would be very yeah. uh, serious. Yeah. And then I was from the interview, because they had sets and sets of them. Mm. Were you on a beach? <laughs> Please, let's uh, skip that line. Uh, why not? <laughs> you see, this this unrealistic uh, uh, 
way people are looking at work from home and i think uh, before even uh, work from home um i was fortunate to work with a company that used to do a lot of research on how people work the future of work mm-hmm. and i remember before covid uh we had discussed around the uh, future of work mm-hmm. which actually consisted how does it look from people working from home yeah. we never knew covid will hit mm-hmm. and then Oh, before covid yeah, before covid actually uh, i think it was early it 2020 you had plans with covid i feel 20, like 20, 20. no no actually this was not like mm. intentional and because this discussion uh, discussion happened in 2019 i think mid 2019 mm. okay. that blog still exists so when covid hit um and uh, you know there is now work from home and everything there's one thing people di- don't uh, don't realize that work has always been changing yep. like in the 60s women could not come to the office if you, yeah. they in the office they were just secretaries right right exactly. now we have engineers we have product managers CEOs. we have ceos <laughs> we have presidents we are mm. across the world mm. also people used to have cubicles if you if, if you have done business i'm sure you have yeah. done if, uh, on being a computer science you have done business and our office and work uh is supposed to be people used to have cubicles and then the ceo would have the corner office and uh, you know a bit if it's a storage building yeah. a, a nice view right of course but right now it's open office you can walk in you can sit in yeah, so yeah. things are evolving and uh we need to be realistic so you need to maybe you realize that you need to travel you need to take a vacation so how does that look like when you're working from home that means you need to understand that at the end of the day I'm at the beach but it doesn't mean because I'm at the beach now it's okay. someone else right so but also people are want to look in a certain way so i think also there is a lot of mind uh, mindset uh, mm-hmm. a lot of uh, education that is needed for people to understand that they even the looks. not only even the workers but also the employers mm-hmm. to understand that we are human at the end of the, uh, of the day so yeah. if someone is a bitch and you want them to turn the camera expect to see them in a bikini or something <laughs> right okay. uh, if they are uh, hiking expect them to see with them with bags and what not what comes with hiking and that's the future of work. and that we actually you'll be able to what they say uh enable them to bring the whole self to work so that you if you want diana you want a full package of diana not diana. the you know the hair mask uh the, of the, diana yeah anyway and, and actually i yeah. mean back to if i can say something about True. that it's a yeah. it's not the looks yeah it's not the out yeah. outfit yeah it's what do they bring on the table yes at the end if of the day yeah. i ask diana to give a presentation even if she's at the beach yeah. can she do that yes can i get oh so whatever she's giving out as output is yeah. what is very important yeah 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 but we're not saying people should swing for the fences uh, anyway <laughs> no no but uh, all we are saying is that manage the expectations and also don't judge a lot in yeah. terms of how people present themselves exactly because that actually encourages people yeah. to bring their whole self mm. which actually the company Listen benefits what and they have yeah to say, what they have to do and what they bring on the table yeah so um then so I, i just want us to talk briefly on what uh big box does you know briefly right uh and the reason why we're doing this is that uh big box is one of uh, our Africa stocking customer mm-hmm. and you guys are building amazing stuff uh around uh solar energy mm-hmm. around uh, reaching out the last mile to mm-hmm. technology mm-hmm. and what not uh do you feel like there is more that can be done by big box and do you think that what big box is doing is changing lives across the spectrum Yeah so uh, what does big box do big box does various things yeah so i know it is famous for solar home systems yeah that's what everyone now knows what big box does yeah. but on top of that big box has added a list of things yeah already what they do yeah. so they not only that's now every time i talk to people i try to now explain this to them so we not only now sell solar home systems yeah but we provide different products to people yeah for example we also now give gas to people yeah and cell phones to people that is at a credit right yeah 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 okay. actually so the business model yeah. that is the biggest value that bbox brings on table yeah so looking at that last mile yeah like those people out there yeah. the last mile that need help so bbox sells products on on credit yeah so you uh, today a tv set a tv set costs uh 200,000 francs and you cannot afford that. Yeah. What is Bbox doing? So Bbox 
gives you the ability to own that TV mm. while you pay off an installment yeah. at actually your desired installment base. Yeah. yeah. That so is at high purchase or? At higher purchase. Yeah. Yeah, so we do that. So yeah. we do the higher purchase for the TVs, for the solar, for gas. Yeah. Or we also now have immobility motorbikes. Yeah. So we also have uh, phones. Yeah. Yeah. So different different products. So I'll tell you, people, a wide range of products that we give out to people. Yeah. And more and more as you being added on the list of products, we, 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 we provide to people. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what you do. But uh, even as you do this, you also enable that uh, um, you open the lines of communication. Mm-hmm. And um, by opening that line of communication, do you even understand what the customer needs in terms of you know how they use your services? Yeah, so we we provide services to customers, but we also listen to customers. Ah. So if we started as a solar company, mm. how did we end up in immobility? Yeah. How did we end up in, oh, I see. Up in guests? It's because we're listening to our customers. Yeah. They don't only need lights, yeah. but they also need to cook. True, true. They want smart cooking. Yeah. So yeah, we had to go for Maybe that. they can't afford to yeah. buy at once. So exactly, you come exactly in there do. as a partner. So you cannot afford to buy a gas seat of 60000 Yeah. Like, don't worry. Yeah. You have 10000 Yes, please yeah. pay that. The yeah. rest you can pay to the next six months. Yeah. I want to talk to my daughter. I live in the village. I want to talk to my daughter in Kigali. Yeah. But I can't, I can't afford a smartphone. Yeah. Yes, please, at your service. So mm. we listen to our customers. Yeah. And we provide as they request. Yeah. That's why I told you the list is endless because the more the customers request, the yeah. more we want to, to listen to them. So yeah. it's the whole ecosystem. Yes. So customers not only need to see, but they need to cook. Yeah. They need to communicate. They need yeah. to, 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 to travel from one place to another. Yeah. So a husband at house, the wife is a family. The husband's like, no, I can ride a motorbike. Mm. But I cannot afford a motorbike. Yeah. No, Go to B-Box, talk yeah. to B-Box. Yeah. It's like, uh, we know you. Mm. You've been a customer with Solar for the last three years. Yeah. And actually looking at your past portfolio. history, yeah. your portfolio, mm. yes, please, you can afford yeah. a motorbike. Yeah. Here you go. Just need like three years to pay exactly, it off. And yeah. also if you do a business, you'll be able to generate. Exactly. And do you think in general that what's maybe that world countries and you know, Africa at large mm. needs uh, you know businesses that actually can trouble them in that journey of empowering them so exactly so you're empowering the customer not only in one sector or in one field yeah. but you're doing the entire eco ecosystem uh, yeah so you're like yes we actually give also cash loans mm. like by the time i go to the bank when am i going to build my credit line with the bank it's gonna mm. take years but b box knows you for the last three years yeah. looking at your portfolio yes we can give you twenty thousand that yeah. you want to return five five yeah. as the smallest uh, interest rate yeah. possible yeah. so you see we are doing this not only to develop the customers in one sector, but the entire ecosystem. Nice. Before you know it, we like our customers have kids who are going to university. Mm. We want, I mean, this is not to read on the list, but I'm trying to show you yeah. how we are doing it end to end. Yeah. We don't only stop you from watching TV, from uh, cooking and things like that, but you're also giving birth and yeah. get your kids to go to school. Yeah. And if you want them to go to school, how are they going to go? You cannot manage it. Yeah. But the little things you're doing can at least pay off b box in a little while yeah. as your kids go to school. Yeah, so that yeah. nothing stops for something else to uh, happen. Exactly. Amazing so stuff. it is the entire ecosystem that we are yeah. giving. Yeah. yeah, you guys are changing lives actually. Yeah, uh, actually. Literally. Yeah. Yeah, and I love <laughs> I love what I see. Yeah, so yeah, from the we are trusted. Yeah, we are trusted. Yeah. We ambitious. Yeah. We yeah. ambitious. Yes, mm. please. Yeah. yeah, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, are we just reading some background? Uh, you know, poster that is here and actually looks more well thought of. Yeah. But uh, Diana, so what is your parting shot to uh, you know our listeners, our our, our fans? Uh, ladies who are listening, product yeah. managers who are listening. So, nice, yeah. Yeah. so as we wind up this, yeah. I'm hoping we are. So uh, mm. to all our listeners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. thank you for listening to us. Yeah. But then as I wind up all this, uh, some of the principles that I really live with, you would be a lady. Actually, yeah. I yeah. am... Uh, Another thing you don't know about me, yeah. I'm a feminist. Ah, so I what does that mean by the <laughs> So for me, in simple language, I'll choose a woman over a man. About what? About we to, to work. 
Oh. So the, when and when we are in a competition yeah. to get things done, mm. I would trust a woman more than mm. I would trust a man. Mm. And like you said, in the sixties, mm. women were supposed to be home cooking and giving birth. Mm. That's how we end up with mm. eight, eight kids. Mm. But today, mm. why would I give? Birth? Where will I get time to mm. give birth to eight kids? I'm mm. not discouraging people to give birth mm. to so many should kids. Give birth, but yeah. they, mm. they should give to as many as they want. Mm. Otherwise, we'll. Yeah. But do you know why yeah. we gave our, I mean, parents and grannies gave birth to so many kids? Mm. It's because you men, mm. <laughs> the men then, mm. said all you had to do was mm. give birth, cook, mm. clean up. But now we can do more than clean up. Mm. We can do more than cooking. Mm. We can do more than giving birth. Yeah. But so it's important to cook, uh, give birth, also, clean, yeah, yeah, take yeah, care yeah, of our own. And also it's also important to balance that with working. So yeah. I will work. Mm. I'll cook, mm. I'll give birth, mm. I'll take care of the kids. Mm. It's, it's all about how but do you But now you'll have you less children, as you said, right? You'll have less children because mm. at least you, you your time is busy with something else. Mm. Do you know that time they were just stuck with uh, that? Are you, are you saying people <laughs> give birth a high door or something? No. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to show you that we now have so many things we can do yeah. other than giving birth. Yeah, true, true. Just, yeah. just imagine you're here that tell you all you have to do at the end mm. of the day, clean up this place. Yeah. You're going to clean it upside down. Yeah. But then when you have more things to do mm. you do clean up you do work you do that yeah. so you give birth yes please to as many as you want mm. i remember i had a former colleague she had like eight kids yeah so and she, she was a chief something yeah, work, yeah, yeah. chief procurement yeah. so but th that did not stop her from working yeah so if you want as many kids please go for them mm. if you can afford them why not yeah but also get work mm. right? but diana so do you think uh it's not a matter of like someone did that intentionally to keep ladies down it was at that particular time that called for that because remember we have come from a, a long, long journey, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm not contesting what you're saying. You know, it should be zero sum game because you're working, then men should not work, or mm -hmm. uh, because I'm a feminist, I should choose a man of a, a woman or a woman of a man or mm -hmm. whichever you. you, you. Mm -hmm. I don't know people who uh, stand for men, what they are called, but I know those who stand for women are called feminists, men right? Is. So you should not. <laughs> <laughs> it should not it should yeah. not be a zero sum game. And that's why by the way we get it wrong. And I see this yeah. conversation a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone can win. The reason, that's, that's the reason the why I do what mm. I do, uh, because me I'm leaving my purpose. Yeah. I don't know what your purpose is, but <laughs> my purpose is to ensure that we all can win and we all can get it. But There's yeah, so enough can, for everyone. Yeah, that's the thing. We yeah. can, we should balance it off. Yeah. If you find a man who if I find a man yeah. who is actually capable, he has mm. what I'm looking for. Yeah. I am gonna take him. Yeah. If I find a woman yeah. that I also want another man in my position to do the same thing, yeah. that if I find a woman yeah. who's better than a man, yeah. I will take the man. Yeah. So it's like I don't want to see men oppressed. Yeah. I want to see women oppressed. Ah, I, I think agree that with is you. the best way it should yeah. come out. But feminism is, is all the yeah, other way. But around. the reason yeah. actually the because of the way it was and it's better like, yeah. Yeah, like the way yeah. people put it they're like because at the end of the day we were running at someone who was read at 100 and we were at zero yeah and to bring it up they had to like put it at one side yeah but the moment i think mm. actually the exposure we've had yeah with things we've done yeah i agree with you we should balance it yeah, yeah. and let me ask you this then uh, now that i have an opportunity to ask you around it um do you think africans really take take good care of their women even from the days when they had nothing until now can I not answer that? <laughs> no, you can say no, yes, and give your reason. Is it a no, yes answer? Oh, you can give a reason if you want. I think stereotyping also gets it wrong. Okay. Where we like, can Africans, yeah. can men, can Ugandan men, can Rwandan men, can Kenyan men? Yeah. So I think that give brings it brings it up to stereotyping. Ah, but then okay, it is I a see. human yeah. thing. Yeah. Can Michael take care of a woman? Yeah. Can yeah. make or respect a woman. Yeah. Can so it's 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 like that. Mm. But the world today is stereotyped like you go to African men, mm. no, they don't They're good, do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they take care of the yeah. women, they don't, they do that. Yeah. But then because it starts from one person mm. and then like someone says, You cannot change the world. Yeah. This place. I'm yeah. not gonna change the world, but let me change me. Yes. Let me change where I'm I'm sitting. True. Yes, Michael, take care yeah. of a of your woman or black uh, white women, African. Yeah. Please yeah. take care of your woman. Yeah. You're not gonna change the world but mm. you can change you, you yeah change, yeah yeah my last question around that do you think the cultures are a huge impact on this 
Yes, the, the background, the cultures where we come from, yeah. have a huge, huge impact. Yeah. But today things have changed. Yeah. Like we see it way back, a woman could not even contribute a single coin on the table. Mm. You're going to find families where the woman is the breadwinner. Mm. And this family still, it should actually mm. still live with mm. respect. Mm. <laughs> I'm mm. going to give you an example. Mm. What is that mm. almost of it? Hey, yeah. I mean, but when you find that there, I, well, yeah. from my experience, yeah. very rarely will you not find problems in that. So, but that's the thing. And, and by the way, the, I'm not stereotyping. When a man is taking care of the family, yeah. there is no much of, you know, wrangles on who has what. And I think that has to do with power and love. And this is a discussion that we can have. That has to do with culture, mm. background, mm. where we came from. Yeah. That if a man cannot do this, yeah. he's going to I be cannot disrespected. Respect him. Going, no, no, but then between me and my man, can mm. we sort this out, the two of us? Mm. I decide we like, I'm going to... Not just you. Not just you. Let me ask you this, Diana, now yeah. that you're bringing this up. You as Diana, yeah. if you're taking care of everything, everything in the yeah. house, maybe mm-hmm. the way your man maybe takes care of business, I don't know if he takes care of business, mm-hmm. but assuming that he takes care of business, yes. as African culture expects them, or mm-hmm. actually generally in the world, man is, take, is expected mm-hmm. to take care of business most yeah. of the times. Mm-hmm. Would you respect that man? Yes, please. What if you are the one who is taking care of everything? So yes, please. Oh, we would expect them yeah. to because I told you yeah. it is a balanced life. Yeah, my man is not taking care of the family. Mm. There are reasons why he's not okay. Let's say he's only sleeping in the bed. He's not doing <laughs> nothing. Is <laughs> 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 you see what the you reason we are giving no, are really? I'm tra- I'm tra- no, I'm trying yeah. to tell you because yeah. at the end of the day, it should have a baseline. Yeah, what's the baseline? Why is he not in position to? To like be on top of it yeah. because of X Y Z. Yeah. Is it genuine? Yeah. As in genuine. Mm. I mean, does he want to work? Mm. He's trying to work, but things haven't tried to pick up. Yeah. That should be okay. Yeah. But then this very man should not now come back and like, and then re- do this, do that. Do, do, let's balance it off. Because <laughs> me, I be, by the way, honestly speaking, <laughs> I believe in balancing it. Yes. Off. Yes. Yeah. We are here. We are all equal. So women money comes with condition. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. What I'm trying to show yeah. you is we are all equals. Yeah. Which man, men don't like. Mm. Men don't like equals. Why? No, we are equal. I don't refuse the fact. But the we have different responsibilities. Exactly. So we are all equals. Mm. Let's have different responsibilities. Mm. You want respect. Respect comes with respect. Yeah, You're yeah. not demanding something you can't give. Yeah, you want true, to true. be loved. You don't give love. Yeah. You want respect. You don't give respect. Mm. You want so money. You can't give money. I mean, but mm. let's balance it. Mm. Of course, honestly speaking, I've seen it with the current world. Yeah. I've seen it in different families. People are sharing uh, expenses. Yeah. Even with someone who's high and low, people mm. are like, yeah, mm. why wouldn't I shop for the house if mm. I get to the house and everything is empty? Yeah. Hey, please send money. We all go to work. Yeah. <laughs> why are you sending the money? Yeah. Let me shop for the house today. Mm. Just like you did the other day. Mm. Let me respect you because at the end of the day, you're going to respect me. Let mm. me take care of you because at the end of the day, mm. you're going to take care of me. Mm. If you send me flowers today, I'll send you a bottle of something the mm. next day. So mm. it's all about, th- that's what we w- should do. It's yeah. But being this world, I don't see that being done. But mm. I told you, I'm not changing the world. I'm yeah. changing me. Yes. If the world's not doing it, let me do it at my house. Yeah. Let me do it at my workplace. Yes, yes. I mean, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, that's Diana Mbabazi. Yeah, and finalizing up this Diana one. Diana <laughs> No, you are fun to have a conversation with. Okay. And I would say, really, yeah. this was really great. Um, I think I've learned a few things. Uh, and I'm sure our listeners have also learned a couple of things. And uh, this conversation continues. I'm sure you are ma- doing amazing stuff, uh, which actually means that there's a long way to go uh, yeah. as Africans, and uh, we're on the right track. Mm-hmm. So we need more Dianas. We need more, you know, kind of uh, impact that you're doing. Mm-hmm. And thank you so much for making time for us. You know, it's uh, you know, you are working actually at your, we are at your office. We yeah. really appreciate that. Thank but you. nevertheless. Um, I would like to thank you and uh, thank our listeners. But just a reminder, um, so our listeners, uh, we still have a, a full-day workshop at uh, Nostek, uh, Nosken, uh, Kigali House. Uh, it's happening on the 13th October 2022. Uh, you're welcome to join. It's free. Uh, we're starting at 8 until 9. And also in the evening, we have uh, dinner with uh, Telco Partners. Uh, feel free to reach out and you'll get an invite uh, for that. And keep building, keep building, uh, keep growing, keep learning, keep sharing knowledge. And it's not really hard to get where we want to get. Thank you so much. 
I'm your host, Michael Kemadi, or MK if you want. Until next time, this is Impact Masters and Africa Stalking Podcast bringing to you live. Thank you so much.